Hi guys, it's Sheriff from Make Scrappy Goodness, and I want to share the Alice in Wonderland pocket litter which I created. Um, on the side of my sheet here, I've put this cute little pink um, dotted uh, washi tape, and then this really light blue and pale pink um, striped one there. And then that is the front of my first card. It's filled with the flowers, and I had some die, die cuts from PTI tiny tags and the memory box chocolate bunny die as well, a die cut as well. Here's a cute little, little um, card that says tea time and I've got this paper tape on there and some pink paisley um, adhesive letters and I'm putting in this mixed herb tea which is also pink. The theme of this is going to be very fun, springy um, feel to it so that is what I'm going with. Then I have these images which I stamped. I have um, four sets of mini stamps and I've just stamped them out and they can be cut out and added to projects as wanted. Um, for the middle one, I've taken, I'm going to use the Greeting Farm images. So I've colored this in pencil crayon and some blender, and I've just added some stickles and glossy accents to it there. And then on the back, I have this um, cool tag, which um, I attached these fun Alice in Wonderland um, memo stickies, you know, just to go in behind. And I really like those. They're so cute. I'm so happy I found them. Now I have this other one, and she's supposed to be the Mad Hatter, but she has these cute flowers, and that goes along right with the flower theme that goes below her. And I've just added some washi tape behind. Um, behind her, I'm going to add these cute little flowered envelopes, as well as these gold foiled rabbit um, note cards, I guess, that I picked up at um, Can Do 100 Yen Store, and I just thought they would go nicely with them. Lots of rabbits for this fun theme. Then I have a TikTok, and that's just a chip um, piece that I've added some stickles to with some, you know, glitter tape and some letters and a pearl in the center. And I have these other ones, adhesive, um, well, they're not adhesive, they're chipboard, and then I've acetate ones, and I'm going to slide them in behind that middle card there. I'm going to save the one on the left because that has the um, name of the person, just in case they're watching. I just thought I'd leave it for you. And I've tied some cute little um, trim as long, along with these, um, I think they're Kaiser Craft pearl beads, which, um, brad beads, I mean. I guess half pearl brads, you would say. And they're really cute. And then another one of those clear tags with some washi tape that kind of went along with this spring feel here. And I just tied a piece of Baker's one at the top and let it hang out. In the top middle I have Alice because she's so cute and she has um, this real bow that I got from Daiso and I just love, love, love this. And I knew she, it had to be on her and it went perfectly with the blue. Then I have um, these images and text from an actual book that I used in a junk journal. Um, I'll put that link below. Actually I made it Alice in Wonderland junk journal. That's more like a vintage -y, feel to it but this one is definitely not the same theme but um you can do many ways with this and then I have um this one is for images and then I have little bunny coming out of the hole and I've used um a paper training I believe that's the Jane Austen one I can't remember what it's called but it is I thought it was really cute to put it in there and then I have these fuzzy brads and I'm gonna throw in some of those images behind there so they can color them and I've stamped them those on really nice paper so you can use Copics or whatnot and then the last one I've done on um, the Cheshire Cat I guess and I've done her with fun colors because I love purple and I just thought it's really cute purple like the original with fun orange hair and that is for Mary Co because um, it's for her and cute little letter that folds up and then I have these nail stickers which are adorable and I'm so happy I got them. So that is the whole sheet there. It looks like this. You can just um, see the overview there. I just love how this turned out and I thought it would be perfect for this time of year. And then on the back. I don't know if I'm just very like, I like to have order and things to match and go along so I think I've kept along with the theme here. And here's some images for some close-ups for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to doing some more pocket letters. I also have some Disney ones that are coming up. I, um, I'm going to edit those but I'm not going to send out, I haven't set up the letter yet so I probably won't upload them 
but stay tuned for the future. And if you're interested in swapping, let me know. And if I'm available, I will do that. Thanks so much, and take care. Happy scrapping. Bye-bye.